Well, hello from Kingston. It's nice to see a little bit of sunshine today. In a week that began with a tempting glimpse of spring and ended with a snowy sting in the tail and a few things in between, it's good. And if you want to learn all about it, please keep watching and consider subscribing. This week began in brilliant sunshine, but don't let it fool you. It was minus 19 degrees centigrade. We'll return to the geese and swans later. Around the middle of the bridge, on the later concrete spans, work to install the safety brackets and rails is progressing very well. And on the steel spans, Everything is very well prepared for eventual concrete pours when the weather cooperates. Steady efforts throughout the week in the east abutment have left it in a situation where again, weather permitting, we're all set to pour concrete. At the west end, brackets and walkways are steadily being removed. Steel forms atop the bridge are ready to enclose the reinforcing rod of the dividing wall. The conduits you can see within carry electrical supply to the lamp posts and other accessories. Installation of the south side railing is also taking place very steadily and the north wall is progressing just as well. A great deal of effort is made in the whole construction process to use cranes and lifts to good effect. Doing so safely requires skill, experience and a constant attention to detail. And while brackets are being installed at one end, they're being removed, having served their purpose, at the other. And the steady effort to install rebar seems almost endless. But let's turn our attention now to the east end and to the fence line on Gore Road. Work begun last week to install cross pieces on the existing fence posts continued on Monday and Tuesday. But by Tuesday afternoon, there was something new. Could it be that some test fitting was taking place? On a very windy Wednesday, the answer arrived aboard a truck carrying the boards that will form the main fence line. Quickly unloaded, it wasn't long before the first of them were being installed on the south side. Note the use of spacers to ensure a deliberate gap between each pair of boards. The pace of progress was considerable. No bad thing when persistent rain on Thursday brought a down day to almost the whole crew. Although there was some activity on the east abutment. Overnight snow made conditions interesting early on Friday, providing an opportunity for the extreme forklift to demonstrate its versatility. Conditions improved steadily throughout the day, the sun appeared and a great deal of progress was made.
the team from Linkline must be quite pleased with what they've achieved this week. I promised a return to the geese and swans, so here they are with some of the other wildlife seen this week. Well, there you have it. One more week behind us and not so many more ahead. Thanks for watching.